Taylor Smurl. And I'm Liz June. And this is Neath. It's the video of it. Yes. <laughs> I, you couldn't tell. They might be confused. <laughs> We're in video now. Ooh. Okay, so we talked about, today we talked about eggnog on the podcast yep. and milk punch. Yep. So what are we making today? Well, since milk punch takes like two days. Uh, I want, my, I'm not gonna do that, cause that'd be a long video. Uh, <laughs> It'd be two days long. You're no. not gonna stick around for that. We could have cut it together, but we just, instead, I don't even tell you why we're wrong. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a quick and easy eggnog. Uh, if you're like me during the holidays and don't consume dairy products, or maybe you just don't want to drink a big glass of raw eggs, or maybe you're watching your Cholesterol. Sure. I don't know your life, but I want to help the way I can. Um, We're gonna make an eggnog alternative. Yeah, and it's a nice like this recipe is a single serving eggnog, so it's a cocktail that'll shake out to one glass. But you can multiply it if you want to make it for your friends and family, and you can keep it to yourself if you just don't want to get into that that nog with everybody else, but you still want to hang out with the, the nog crowd. Right. Because that's a those I hang with the nog with those, the, those noggins. noggins. Good one, good one. Great minds. Great, Great noggins. Great noggins. Ah! All right. So for our milk base, we're gonna use an ounce of coconut milk uh, and an ounce of soy milk. The coconut milk is like a, like a fatty, like canned coconut milk. Mm -hmm. This I would definitely recommend as far as the ounce of soy milk, any milk alternative will work. You could use more coconut milk for this. Mm -hmm. Just like the canned coconut milk is gonna give us that fatty texture, but it is a little savory, so using straight that might be a little too, a little too savory. Little yeah, too for sure. You could probably also use, um, if you wanted to use cashew milk, that's usually like a little creamier dairy alternative. Yeah. yeah, and that might be a little bit sweeter even. Yeah, we're gonna do another whole ounce of aquafaba. Aquafaba, bringing it back. Yeah, so if you remember that, that's our chickpea brine. So it's literally just liquid drained off of a can of chickpeas. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna kind of sub in for the egg, right? Mm -hmm. This is gonna provide kind of a frothy texture to it. Beautiful. I saw recipes where you could like put your aquafaba in a bowl and like whip it separately, and you could do that, but it's gonna get there in the shaker, so if you're making it just for yourself, you'll you'll get a good amount of like uh, aeration just in the shaker. Awesome. Gonna just do a little, like little quarter a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a little, a little guy. Just a little bit too much of a guy. That's a guy. <laughs> That's a guy. That's a guy. This is uh, so. This is some cinnamon syrup I left over from another video. Uh, so it's a simple syrup that's been infused with cinnamon. Super basic. Yeah. And we're gonna do a whole ounce of that because, hey, it's eggnog, it's sweet. Yeah, gotta get to that sweet, sweet stuff. Yep. And then, uh, this is where your base beer can come into play. You could use rum, we're gonna use bourbon. Mm -hmm. We're making mm -hmm. alcoholic uh, eggnog alternative because this is a booze podcast. Yes. If you shook this now without this, it would still taste really nice. And if you want a non alcoholic egg eggnog, stop here. Here's your drink. But for those that want a basic eggnog with a little booze in it, we're gonna add just like an ounce and a half right now. For sure. Go, go, bourbon, go, 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 bourbon, go, 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 bourbon, go. Okay. <laughs> Get some ice herbs in there. you got there. Just some great in that nutmeg right on top. Yes, get that nutmeg in there. Get those spices. So, there you go. So pretty. Okay. Yay. Mmm. Me? That's good. It's very creamy, but like, but it's, it's kind of, it's, I'd say it's a little bit lighter than the eggnog, but yeah. I don't mind it. I like it. It's very frothy. It is, it's not too heavy. It's still got that creaminess that you like from eggnog, but mm -hmm. maybe, I don't wanna be like, it's healthy. <laughs> There's a lot of sugar. Well, That's, yeah, healthier. We put coconut adjacent. milk in it, so. It's the holidays, don't worry. Don't worry, but no yeah. one's counting. But there is no raw egg in there, so your likelihood of encountering pathogens is slightly, re slightly reduced. 
Maybe. 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 <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, yeah. definitely. Definitely for this. So that's your basic, just a bourbon eggnog. Based on some of the ingredients that you talked about in classic eggnogs, I was inspired to maybe do a, a slightly elevated eggnog. <laughs> For this, we're gonna follow pretty much the same proportions. I'm just gonna reduce everything a little bit by volume. Mm -hmm. So instead of like, ounce, 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 I'm gonna do three quarter, three quarter, three quarter all the way down, just to make room for some more ingredients. That's wise. Three quarter of my cinnamon syrup. Beautiful. Three quarter of my coconut milk. Three quarter of my whatever milk alternative. Plant-based milk. Three quarter of fava. I'm gonna drop the bourbon down that ounce. Okay. I gotta skip the vanilla on this because we got other flavorings coming in. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. All right. You could, I will say, if you make a big old batch of your base eggnog and then want to like use some of it to make this drink, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. Just if you're making it per drink. So the ingredients we're gonna add are some uh, Madeira and some Frangelico. Yes. This is like a kind of nutty fortified wine. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do three quarter ounce of that. Get another mug here. Yeah. We're gonna do a little quarter ounce of this. So All I'm right. Just gonna add a little bit of like kind of tannic structure from the Madeira and some nuttiness. It's gonna be amplified by the Frangelico. So, tasting note for my heathen vegan eggnog concoction. Heathen vegans? <laughs> All vegans are heathens. There's the froth right there. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. And that was a perfect pour. You did a really good job. Good at math. Hey. A little nutmeg on the top. Yeah, that, make, that makes everything look cute. It does, it looks super cute. Also, once again, as we've noted in the, uh, the last video we did with aquafaba, I think it's always important to have a strong aromatic on top of anything dealing with aquafaba or egg whites because they're really strong smelling and it's not awesome. So mm -hmm. that nutmeg is gonna cut through any chickpea flavor oh, that you're yeah. picking up on. Go for that. It's so good. It does taste like dessert. It does taste it's like dessert and tastes good. Okay. But like refined, elevated melted ice cream. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh yeah, I know somebody who'd like this. Oh who? Teresa would love this. Oh yeah? <laughs> yes. yes. Yay! After, you know, after the baby. Af yeah, uh, post baby. Post baby, she would love this. Mm. So definitely a little bit of a step up from your, your bourbon eggnog. Brings in some fun ingredients, but still complements the overall flavor profile. I love it. Yeah. Those are two really nice and pretty simple recipes for uh, two different ways you can make some nice kind of I'd say fan. I would use. I'm throwing out the F word here. I'm gonna use the word fancy eggnog here or eggless nog. You could use eggs if you want, but for this recipe, the nice thing about it is, is it, it is designed to be made in a sol uh, single serving. And to me personally, the idea of a creamy, rich beverage sitting out for long times at room temperatures kind of gives me the. Yikes. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so if you have a cocktail party, especially if you got, you know, the ability to make drinks for people one-on-one, -on -one. why not make up a fresh made or eggnog? Yeah. Or even a, a slight, something a little bit more specific. Mm -hmm. Or treat yourself. Treat you yourself. Make up a yes. yourself. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Nice. Well, here's, here's some fun, uh, beautiful, creamy cocktails for the holidays. Cheers. Cheers. <gasps> I wish we had cookies. Oh, cookies would be really good with these. Why didn't we get cookies? Well, mm. I've been Taylor Sproul. And I've been Liz June. And this has been Neat. Neat. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you to Absurdist for our music. Please like and subscribe and leave us a comment. The recipes will be down below. Down below. Also, Thank our you. link to our Patreon. 